show it to the camera. So look, look it in the eye. I see it. Your challenge is to not spit it out. <coughs> Everyone can get famous on TikTok, so I'm wondering why can't I? I'm peeing right now, and it's getting in my shoes. Does it feel like you're always wearing a face that maybe isn't yours? Yeah. We almost died. I'm going on a journey to see what it takes to make it on TikTok, and if I have the chops. Los Angeles, home of the rich and famous, and me. Hey, do you want to answer some questions about TikTok? Nope. Do you want to talk to me about TikTok? Sadly, I'm neither, which is not how I expected things to go when I moved here five years ago. Why won't anyone talk to me about TikTok? But back then, TikTok didn't exist, and it seems like it's the easiest way to get famous these days. Literally everyone is obsessed with this app. Even the boomers on the news are talking about it. TikTok. 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 If you want to jump on TikTok, now is the time. It's time for me to jump on the bandwagon before it's too late. If Gen Z teens can become stars on TikTok, why can't I? TikTok that. That's what you do, baby. So I definitely don't represent what you know, your standard TikToker is like, I'm not 17, I'm, I don't really have the TikTok look. So I hit up Michael Wiest of Juice Crate Media, a social media manager with his own agency. He's an industry vet who's seen just how cutthroat the business can be. You gotta stop the fans. An ugly truth captured in the documentary, Jawline. He was also on an episode of Dr. Phil to talk about the drama of his social media convention, Tanacon, which was a total bust. Even with all this controversy, Michael is still working with the biggest people online. So I wanted to learn how to reinvent myself as a TikToker and see if he might take me as a client. People make it look so easy to be on TikTok, but is it that easy? I do not think so. Everyone thinks it's so easy, you can go viral. No, it's like a constant amount of work. You ha literally have like two seconds, the time it takes you to do like this to get someone's attention. So if it's, they're doing that and it doesn't engage, they're gonna just do that again and swipe up and then it's gone. That's like the most important part. Whether that attention is, is vanity because you're good looking or a prank video and it's shocking, all you have to do is gain attention then, you know, the future's yours. Michael was super helpful. It's kind of crazy to think you can just get famous on social media and that like a manager like me would take you on as a client. It's laughable because that's, it's funny, like, no. And his words of encouragement had me excited to start TikToking. I was determined to wow my way onto his talent roster, so I went home to plan my first video. So there's this one called the Pee Your Pants Challenge. It racked up 3.9 million views on TikTok. I'm peeing right now, and it's getting in my shoes. I should have brought an extra change of socks. Turns out the Peer Pants Challenge didn't make a splash. I'd have to crank it up a notch. All you have to do is gain attention. If it's something shocking, obviously you're gonna keep watching. How to eat a high protein breakfast if you don't have time to cook. Six raw eggs and a raw beef brain. So I reached out to William Breesh, a fitness enthusiast whose macho and controversial takes on health and nutrition have gotten him press, as well as an ongoing TikTok suspension. Surely he would know how to turn hate into views. Carnivore diet is, is an animal-based diet. On a daily basis, I have uh, lamb liver, beef kidney, beef brains, testicles, could be lamb, could be uh, veal, could be anything. Do we all like, fuck vegans? No, 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 no. You show vegans sympathy, because you feel bad for them. I do use the word soy boy a lot, and it pisses the fuck out of them. Okay, let's get some hate. Hey TikTok, I'm Zach Shucklin. To prove that I'm not a soy boy, I'm about to eat a bull nut. Fucking brilliant. You like that? That is fucking brilliant. I love this. Now you got the soy boys hurt. So I'm about to eat some raw piss grapes. There you go. I'm not a soy boy. You're not a fucking soy boy. <laughs> it has to be bizarre. It has to get a reaction. You gotta tell people who the fuck you are. I'm not a soy boy. I'm not, I'm not spending yet. <coughs> the more bizarre it is, the more shares you're gonna get. One, 
two, three. What's going on? <laughs> Not a soy boy now. Wiam introduced me to a world of new and exciting foods, but the idea of pissing people off for a living had my stomach in knots. I didn't want to be hated. I wanted to be desired. And in the TikTok world, nobody is more desired than the lucky few of LA's content houses. So I reached out to the Breezy Boys, a crew of six shirtless guys who all live together and churn out TikTok content 24-7. Were they sexy? Were they cringy? I really couldn't tell. But with over 15 million total followers, clearly they were doing something right. And I wanted in. Even though the Breezy Boys only formed in 2021. I've known these guys since I was like a kid, it seems like, you know what I'm saying? So was like, that last year? These boys are family, and they each brought something different to the table. I like to do a lot of gym content, I like to work out a lot. I'm like an anime guy, like kind of like dark vibe, like positive, like funny. While I was still exploring what my TikTok style might be, they seemed to have me already figured out. I see him as kind of like a... Uh, you know, one of those funny guys yeah, that does was, like the words it. on the screen yes. or something or like, like that. Or like makes like sarcastic reactions. Sarca yeah, yeah reactions type. Yeah. I wasn't quite sure what they were talking about, so we called a content meeting to strategize and brainstorm. It seemed like all people wanted to see these days was boys getting wet. The trend is you get in the shower with clothes on and the person in the chair by the, like that's being hung over by the pool has to finish the lyric. We'll just get in the shower and like literally shower with clothes on. And if you get it right, you get pulled back in. If you get it wrong, you get pushed in the pool. When someone scrolls and they see someone in a shower with clothes on, it's like, yeah, what's good? All of us getting in the shower and with our clothes on, like being stupid as hell, mm -hmm. that's gonna yeah. get views. Mm -hmm. that's gonna it's, it, it would, how would it not? For us, what we've tried to consider is to do a lot more personality videos so people can connect with us and build right. a stronger connection with us. And that's what we've tried to implement as a group. We can't really make a brand out of just being like flirty. Like you have to actually create something of like yourself. With substance, yeah. Yeah, substance. And like throwing a friend in the pool. Yes, yeah. exactly. While I was getting wet in my own way, it's getting in my shoes. I didn't think my content so far was meshing with the breezy vibe. I clearly had my work cut out for me. We have a uh, bio fitness later today. Three, three to four, we'll do content. We'll get you in, into that breezy content. We're gonna give you a makeover. We're gonna turn you into a breezy boy. This is the highlight of the breezy boy. We wake day. up every single day just to do this. Nine, 10, ten. BB. Yeah. All right, left side. How often do you work out? Like, do you work out often? All like run, I'll take like a class. That's right. That's there. I'm, I, oh yeah. yeah. I'm a little blown away. A little blown away. When you're lifting, to be honest, you're not really thinking about anything besides like that moment in time. And I feel like that's a big part of like our lives because we're always thinking about the future, the past, all that kind of stuff. Like on social media, you're trying, that's how you get followers. You have to impress. So like it's really stressful dealing with that all day. Like how do I make everyone like me? After our pump session at Plyo Fitness, we went back to the mansion to sweat some more by learning a viral dance together in their manager's closet. I might mess it up. No, it's okay. That, that's yeah. fine. We do, we do this. Yeah. Like it takes so long. Yeah. yeah. So, mm, 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 mm. Fortnite moves. Mm. Okay. What advice do you have for me to really make it on social media? It could take a day or it could take a year. But if you really believe in yourself and you're dedicated, it's only a matter of time. If you are consistent and you are having fun with it, at the end of the day, it's gonna be like a snowball effect and it's gonna pile up and you just gotta be consistent with whatever you do. How long were you posting before you started getting traction? For me, it was like literally within the first week. I hit like 100K on the first week on TikTok. Well, I guess some people are just meant to be famous. But hate on them all you want, the Breezy Boys put in work to get where they are. And I just didn't know if I had that level of dedication. Still, I was sucked in by how warmly they welcomed me into their crew. Their acceptance and validation were like a drug. I still didn't have the abs of a teen idol, but I left the mansion on a high and with a fresh breezy look. But could I impress Michael as a solo act? Would I still shine without my posse behind me? These questions were consuming me. So I reached out to Sebastian Bales, 
an OG influencer whose pranks have gotten him over 12 million followers on TikTok. He's also controversial. His stunts tend to push the envelope and they've even gotten him canceled in the past. Is this what you want? Cause I'm not orange. Still, he's as big as it gets. So I set off to Palm Springs to see if life alone at the top was all it was cracked up to be. This is like my get ready room slash filming room. This is where all the magic happens. This is where I get ready. This is where I do my hair, my makeup, my outfits. I love fashion. I also love being loud and colorful. What gets just people's attention is colors. So if you have colorful hair, colorful outfits, it works. See, I feel so naive jumping into okay. this because I would never even consider things like that. I feel like I think differently. Like when I see something crazy go on, most people are like, that's so sad. I can't believe that car crash happened. I'm like, oh my gosh, that'd be such a good video. Yeah. What TikTok are we going to be making a video for today? So we have a morph suit right there, mm -hmm. and we are basically going to be scaring people dressing up as mannequins. And we're gonna actually scare people in real life. Let's do we'll it. Let's do it on the spot. I'll be your muse. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. I can just totally try to replicate okay. what I'm doing. There's so many steps and it takes mm -hmm. forever. I'm having a blast. I'm glad, because I usually don't have a blast. I'm usually miserable doing this. You're usually miserable? Sometimes I just wish I didn't have to like wear so much or have to put a face on or something, you know? Does it feel like you're always wearing a face that maybe isn't yours? Yeah. I've had like identity issues and I'm like, who am I? I don't even know. But this is how I am normally. Um, and a lot of people are usually shocked to see me so like, I guess, normal in a way. Because mm -hmm. people don't think I'm normal. People think I'm like mentally unstable. It's not very nice. No. Oh, 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 you scared me. Good job. Oh, Good job. While I was nearly blind in the morph suit, people's reactions seemed to range from amused to annoyed. Oh, shit! I was kind of worried I'd get punched in the face or give someone a heart attack, but I was more nervous that people were gonna think this was really stupid. You want pranks? Okay, I got an idea. Just go up to a server and be like, what the fuck is this? What is this? Or like, get mad. And get really mad, get the reaction. Be like, it's so good. That's it's actually so a good idea. I feel bad though, because I feel like you guys are all working so hard. No. Do you think it's more important to be authentic online or to be a character? I think it's definitely important to be authentic. And that is kind of contradicting as far as what we did today. But our ultimate goal was being viral. So, I mean, if your goal is to be authentic and viral, then that's gonna be a lot longer process. That's not gonna be an overnight success. It's kind of a pickle, right? Because mm -hmm. on one hand, you don't wanna get hate, but on the other hand, sometimes the hate is what pays the bills. Yeah. That has to factor into your private life as well though, right? Oh, absolutely. Um, I've had a scandal before where I got death threats. I was so scared to leave my house. I was scared that someone was gonna like find my address and like, I don't know, attack me, kill me. Like the comments were so bad. There was about a half a million comments about basically me just deserving to die. There's a lot of mental pressure. There's bodily harm. <laughs> Is it worth it? Uh, I definitely, yes. I would say it's worth it, for me at least. Sebastian had all the luxuries of a social media star, but his life in Palm Springs felt lonely, almost like an exile. The internet can be a toxic place, and I began to grapple with whether fame was even worth it. But before worrying about that, I'd have to get famous. So I met up with Michael one last time to see if he'd agree to represent me. Well, I really appreciate you meeting with me today. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to hear about everything that you've done over the last week or so. It's honestly not as hard as I thought because I'm peeing right now and it's getting in my shoes. Ew. Dipping my balls in soy sauce. They're so submerged right now. Hey TikTok, I'm Zach Shucklin. To prove that I'm not a soy boy, I'm about to eat a bull nut. Oh. Atrocious. When I originally came to you, Michael, I wanted to see if I could, you know, do this TikTok journey and blow up. So I collected 44 new followers on TikTok. Like, how close am I to being a client you would sign, like on a scale of one to 10? 
like a two. There's no point to sign an, an agreement with 44 followers. I really thought it would be easier, Michael. I, <laughs> when I started this, I really did. I think everyone thinks that. And then it's really quickly they realize people can recognize inauthenticity really quickly. You don't have to be trying to replicate the Breezy Boys formula or Sebastian's formula. Just make content that you enjoy and you won't burn out. You can do it when you want. And, you know, social media is for everyone. I'm not surprised Michael rejected me. Rolling up with only 44 followers was embarrassing, especially since I worked with some of the biggest people on the app. We all joke about how easy it is to get famous online, but plot twist, it's totally not. Everyone I met seemed to be stuck on the TikTok treadmill, and despite all the trappings of success, it seemed stressful as hell. So yeah, doing this full time just isn't healthy for me, or most people I imagine. Oh, sorry, I got some nut on your floor. No, it's all good. I just don't want it to, it would smell very bad later. 